Thank you for joining me today here at Covenant Keepers Ministries. It's Monday, October 31st, last day of October 2022. And I just felt impressed, even though I may have done this before and I didn't go back through all the records of the of the years that I've been doing this uh, video devotionals. But I, I've contended forever that God's people are to be a blessing and not a curse. We're not to be a people that curse other people. We're to be a people that pronounce blessing. And so you know this scripture I'm about to use today and some others that I'll be reading through this week, but number six, 22 through 27, the Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. So if I'm contending with you today, my contention is, come on, let's begin to practice more and more blessing on other people. Instead of the criticism or the sarcasm or the critiquing that tends to pull people down. I, I think if you read through the Bible, the, the teaching of the Bible consistently throughout is, is about blessing. Didn't say it's, about, it's not about other things. Obviously it is. And it's obvious about God desiring relationship with us and providing for that through the atoning death of Jesus Christ. But unnoticed so often by the casual reader is a requirement of God that blessing will only fall upon the faithful and obedient. However, what most believers, and let me use this phrase because he, he says in Revelation, he's made us to be a kingdom of priests and kings unto our God. And so as a believer, you're a priest before God. Most priests, most believers have not understood is that we are to pronounce blessing over all people. Now, that may not fall on your ears in the right way, and you may think, well, I don't necessarily agree with that. Wait, well, just check it out. You can check it out with the Word of God. They pronounce blessing over all the people. It is God and the individual who determines whether the blessing falls and abides. <laughs> think about that. It's God and individuals who determine whether the blessing falls upon you and abides upon you. In James uh, chapter 3, verse 10 and 11, it's very clear that the scripture says we shouldn't use our tongue for blessing and cursing. The same bad water and good water should not flow from the same mouth. So it's a great joy for me this week. It's an honor for me this week to share this great biblical principle and hope that it will dominate our conversation and lifestyle rather than this cancel culture and woke culture that we have become a part of in America. So let's go back to our, our starting scripture in, in number 6, 22 through 27. It says that tell Aaron and his sons, that's the other priest, that this is how you're to bless Israel. So the first part, of the blessing, because I think there's three parts in this, this text that we have this week, is imparting blessing and protection. Imparting means to invoke, that's call forward, God's blessing and protection from evil forces and from all that's adverse to one's welfare in life. That's a lot to swallow, so let me repeat it, because it's I think it's that good. Imparting means that we invoke God's blessing, is that we call it forth, and we call forth God's protection from evil forces and all that's adverse to one's welfare in life. Bless in the Greek is barak. Barak, to bless man as a benefit. Blessing or to bless means to convey the idea that God's presence, his activity, his love are brought into a person's life and environment. So I want 
God's best to be over you. Now keep, it says the Lord bless and keep you in the blessing that they're pronounce, pronouncing over is shamar. Shamar means to guard. It means to protect. It means in effect to put a hedge around or attend to a hedge about one. Isn't that powerful? So we're invoking God's blessing that is a benefit, God's benefit over you, that his activity, his love, and his presence is with you, surrounds you, it's in the environment of your life. And then we're asking him to guard and keep you. So I need to read some scripture, and I think it's just powerful. It's the first one's in, in, in Psalm 71, one through six. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong habitation to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my trust from my youth. By you I have been upheld from my birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall continually be of you. And then notice this in Psalm 91, a scripture that I definitely love. The whole, the whole chapter is powerful. But just a few verses in it. Verses 9 through 16. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your habitation, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent shall tramp, you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So the Lord bless you and keep you. Let's pray. Father, what a powerful, powerful, pronouncing the blessing, invoking the blessing. And I pray for everyone who listens to this video, watches this video devotional today, that you will bless them and you will keep them. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God's grace over you today. Be blessed. God's got his eye upon you and he's taking care of you.